Alright, here we are. I'm fighting against a Russian player. I forget his name, but we're going to be fighting him in just a moment. Let's see. He has quite a few men. He has some uh, cavalry. He has, uh, let's see, Armstrong guns, and like I said, cavalry. So I need to watch out for them. He's going to try to claim all of the important parts here, all the important points, I guess I should say. So let's go ahead and start moving some spear levy up, and let's prevent him from doing so. Because that would be bad, and bad things is not what I'm going for here. Okay, so we're, we're going to go ahead and start sending up my Yariki, and uh, his cannon is going to be a bit of a threat for me, but I'm not too worried, to be quite honest. I'm going to be able to take him probably right in the middle, if I'm going to be adventurous just a bit, and I'm going to send in my spear units to go take out these points here. So we're going to see how that goes overall. And let's see, I'm, I'm going to start moving up some red bears and all that good stuff. And uh, like I said, we're just going to see how it goes and we're going to see how sexy it gets. Yeah, I'm kind of in a goofy mood. It's very late and I just finished one of my uh, academic papers, as I should say. And so I've been having a pretty good time. Um, let's see, on TeamSpeak for my regiment, I met a Australian person. She's a pretty cool chick. And I've just been talking to the various crazy people on that site. And this guy has chosen very small unit sizes but that doesn't bother me what bothers me is lagging when these people choose unit sizes that are just simply too big for uh, for them so I honestly do not mind whatsoever but I am going to keep moving up and as long as I stay beneath the hill I should be alright for the most part and Dan and Lincoln are offline which is a bit disappointing I was kinda hoping they would be on so that I would have someone to game with but it looks like I'm flying solo tonight my friends looks like I'm gonna be all alone for the evening in my moments of Mortal Kombat I guess I should say so this is what a spear levy I'm not too worried about that he probably has men in the woods so I do need to watch out for them I'm not entirely too worried I mean as we can see here they're beginning to waver which is a very good thing for me and let's see I'm gonna go ahead and start moving up some spear levies very soon as you can tell or as you can maybe maybe probably tell I'm in a fairly good mood right now very very good mood okay so what do we have over here we have Yariki who have landed on the ground I do want to watch out for them I don't want them to kick my butt so let's keep moving up the red bears now if we can get a few shots off that would be fantastic I do want to move my spear levies over here just to try to block them off since they are coming to fight me and let's see I have about two units left to defend my cannons right now which is fine I will keep them there it's absolutely fine um, I'm already bringing up my Yarikachi, so let's hope I can take out his uh, Yariki. And my Red Bears are going to be in position momentarily, but they're not quite there yet. So we're going to see how that goes. I'm going to go ahead and move my Spear Levies right here. And it looks like they're beginning to route, and they will probably just a moment. But he's beginning to shoot at my men, so I do need to watch out. I'll probably move over here as my uh, cannon beats them up. Actually, I'll move right behind the building. I, I think that would be the best choice. Alright, he's, he's about to charge into my Spear Levy, which is pretty awesome. There we go. Now, just begin to fire at his Yariki. And let's see. My Yarikachi can begin to hit his Yariki. And we'll see how this goes real quick. Um, I managed to hit some of them, but not too many of them. I killed a lot of, of his uh, Yariki, but they may be able to kick me out now. Yeah, as, as you can see, they managed to uh, charge me, so my morale is now very low. Let's see, over here, I'm going to be able to charge his other Yariki and we'll see how that goes now oops hold on hold on shoot pause pause and let them fire come on fire alright let's see they're being fired at so they're having a fairly tough time right now so let's see if we can change things up a bit maybe okay let's see spear, the spear levy has broken which is a shame but we're just gonna have to wait here for right now move my general back slightly um, here is my cannon I'm gonna fire at their Yariki and potentially break them but I'm not really certain so let's go ahead and get my spear levies back and everything else back and try to keep my general safe um, we are gonna try to take all three points because that would be pretty fantastic if we did so that's what we're gonna do as you can see we're actually able to take quite a few of their points I'm gonna go ahead and use kill zone try to take out their cavalry because I, I just I really don't like him <laughs> but uh, so guys how have you been I mean I know I'm talking very fast but I'm like I said now that I've gotten my paper done, I'm in an excellent mood, a very excellent mood. So that is going to result in how fast I speak and how I give my commentary and all that good jazz. Okay, let's see if my scatter shot should be able to beat them up. There we go. That's one shot. They're beginning to waver. 
by far I have a pretty good amount of map control which I'm very happy about. I'm going to have to think about how I'm going to move my cannon since I have no cavalry. But um, I should be able to support my men rather well. Um, it looks like he's using mostly veterans so I guess I, I need to watch out for that. He probably... let's see what's going on here. So I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm about to have the shrine. I have the archery dojo over here so I'm about to have complete control of near everything now. Alright, let's go ahead and move my spear levy about right here. Looks like they're beginning to charge, but my Imperial Swords are now going to charge back, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, let's see. Oh, wow. They actually may be able to pull this off, so let's stop that right now. Alright, General, I need you to move very fast now. Alright, they're beginning to route and break, so he's beginning to move up to try to take me out over here. Which is absolutely fine. Let him try to do so. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and move my infantry about here and here. Move my yari, my yarikachi back, and I'm gonna begin moving up my katana kachi over here. Okay, now let's see. What else do do I need to move? Um, spear levy as well. Actually, I'll move everything that that can move up over here, just because they need to get here as fast as they can. Let's deselect these guys real quick as they hold this position. Um, my spear levy who's not here, I'm going to go ahead and put them into a loose formation and start sending them at the enemy cannon. Let's see. Where are they at? I actually may be able to hit them from where from where they're coming. That's a possibility. I'm not entirely certain. But yeah, we will see if I'm capable of doing so. I doubt it, but that would be really cool. Right? Right. Okay. <laughs> um, looks like they're continuing to advance now. I'm not too worried yet. Actually, I may need to pull back momentarily just to get my men into order. So let me go ahead and start doing that. Um, I'm going to start getting my red bears up. Oops, that's kind of messy, huh? So let me go ahead and move them about here and here. Um, keep my Yarikachi in the woods. Um, let's see. I have other red bears on the way right here, move back my general just slightly. Um, then I have my enforcers who I'll put into a loose oops, a loose formation about over here for right now anyway. Alright, so my red bears are moving up now. Let's move them about here. Spear levy should be here. Yeah, they're, they're here too. Now who is walking? Oh, it just looked like they were uh, walking. So now we're, we're going to start moving up. My cannon should be able to actually fire at them momentarily or very soon at that rate um, once they move a bit closer on this hill. Um, I do have all three points right now, so ta uh, tactically I'm at a advantage and we'll see if I'm going to be able to take out their Armstrong guns, which would be quite nice. Though I'm not entirely certain if that's going to be a possibility. But um, as we can see here, I need to take out his general or his Armstrong guns. Either way, they need to die. He needs to die for that matter. So we're going to see about what I'm going to do momentarily. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can circumvent this Imperial Guard force to the right flank real quick. Alright. As my cannon continues to fire, I would like to hit them from the rear with my Katanakachi. That would be amazing right now. Okay, I'm going to put my Yarikachi into a loose formation as well. Move up my spear levy. Move up my red bears real quick. Same thing with my spear levy. Have my general a bit closer, but not too close. And we're going to try to circumvent my foe and take him out from the rear. Um, my spear levy is very tired, and they are shaken, probably from being so so tired. I, I have no clue right now, but that's definitely a possibility. Alright. Let's begin to head towards them. Either way they go, I may have the overall advantage right now. Um, let's see, they're fresh still, unfortunately. Looks like he's going to try to help out his cannon, which is absolutely fine with me. I, I really have no issue with that. So, let's see, his United States Marines are on their way. It's it's a shame that I'm going to have to kill them, but c'est la vie. Anyway, <laughs> let's continue to move up our men, see if they're going to fight soon. Um, looks like I'm going to have to fire, so let's move up all of my men now. Okay. Actually, hold on. Shit. 
didn't mean to to do that. Let's just let them fire where they're at. Okay. Now let's move up my general a bit. Actually, let's move my spear levy in. Move up my general a bit. I've taken out their Armstrong cannon so far, which is excellent. I'm gonna start firing at their men who are stationary up here. Fire out some scatter shot. Um, let's see. My other katana are gonna start moving towards the Imperial Guard infantry. Let's see. What's this over here? I need to take out his general definitely. Um, I'm beginning to fire at his men. I'm going to be able to flank him and hit him with my Yari Kachi. So even if his men are better, I'm going to be able to hit him probably pretty hard right, uh, right now. I do need to move up so I can hit his men. But I need to, I do need to keep moving up once again. Let's see, my, my spear levy's here. So I'm going to be able to kill his general and probably conclude the battle very soon. As my cannon continues to fire. And my Red Bears simply need to just hold out for a moment while I try to go for his United States Marines who we can see right right here. They're dressed in all red and I need to turn up my graphics. I um, had them re uh, really low and I don't remember why, but yeah. So, let's see, over here we have their General who apparently is very tough. My god, he's like freaking Tom Cruise here. Except, not a loser. Anyway, let's keep trying to hit him with my Spear Levy. There we go. Now his General's dead so he'll probably begin to rout very soon. Even if his Imperial Guard is going to manage to get to uh, get some hits. But I'm killing his... Alright, so I guess that's pretty much a good game. So let's type that. Good game. And remember, if you enjoyed my battle, remember to like, comment, and or subscribe. Actually, do both. And I will see you guys later.